Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Today I am in City Park. I got my good friend Alex with me. He's somewhere back here doing something. You'll see him soon later. We have rented a canoe through Loop Nola, like you see on the sign here. There'll be a link down in the description, and you go to that website, and there's a number you can call to reserve your canoe, and then you can pay online. Everything's online. You pay on a online and then you come here they're just doing this on sundays right now because of covid but there's they're gonna start doing more days like more days on the weekend what this is loop nola is a non-profit organization that exposes urban kids to out the outdoors so it's a pretty good thing they're renting these canoes to make a little money to to do their non-profit and it's just awesome so you can rent swan boats on the other side of the park but that's no fun right it's just you're stuck in big lake over here we get to man i'm excited this is cool over here we get to go to all these crazy places so let's let's get into this i'm happy you excited alex hell yeah yeah you're right if you're not sure quite where we are in the park on that website if you click the link down below it'll show you this is actually the volunteer center in city park and the nopd horse barn is right near here courtier forest you see that red bridge right there that's where you go into the courtier forest trail system so yeah that's where we're at there's a lot more to fish over here than the other side this is a, a pretty good opportunity here being able to rent canoes now they're 40 dollars for four hours i believe and they're only doing it in the afternoon right now but i think in the near future there'll be more options still pretty pretty cool i think a lot of people don't know about this yet they've only been doing it for a bit this is jonathan the director of loop nola and here's our canoe for the day look at this when you come here the life jackets are supplied by them they've got their own and the paddles as well. Now this is a 17 footer, right? We got 17 footers, we got 16 footers. Look at this. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna be up front and Alex is gonna steer. He tells me he's a master at steering. So, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, one, two, three. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Our game plan is to hit heavy cover because it is just after four o'clock and it rained quite a bit today, this morning and earlier this afternoon. We, we almost thought we were looking at a reschedule for today. So we thought the weather was gonna go. There was lightning and everything. It's nice now. We're gonna hit this deadfall right in front of us and then hit a few more along to where we want to go because of the rain today and the full moon that's coming tomorrow fishing might be tough today so i'm gonna go weightless because it's almost no wind there's almost no wind this is a june bug cinco by yamamoto on an ot3 worm hook this is the second deadfall that we're going to stop at this one is much sweeter much fishier it's juicy man there's already disturbances in it and it's deeper the first one not so deep today. I have caught fish at that first one we were at. In some ways, I'm fishing this Cinco kind of like you would a frog. But it's submerging, and then when we come up to really thick stuff, the Cinco will come up on top and I will kind of work it across the top. I'm able to do this because it's Texas rigged and Texposed. The idea is to try and get a fish to come up through the cover. We haven't been able to fish this particular deadfall in many, many years. When Alex and I first started fishing together years and years ago, this was an abandoned golf course, and now it's an active golf course. So we used to be able to fish from the bank here. Be 
quiet over there. Nice. That's a good one. Sorry I wasn't filming for the strike there. It's been, it has been worse than molasses. Let me tell you, man. Tough, tough fishing. We are now back here at this bottleneck behind the NOPD horse barn. It's also where they have their, their shepherds, their German shepherds. There we go. He's a little better than a dink. He's still, he's still pretty much a dink, but he's, he's what do you call a eh. oversized dink? Extra large Four dink. Yeah, he maybe he's almost a pound, probably about. All right, that's great. You might recognize this spot. I did a video here not too long ago where I was up on the bank right here. I was catching some bass and some other things. There's a bottleneck right there. See, it's choked and there's a culvert under there. I think we're gonna stick in this area and then come right back and try to hit it again. We might try to get through that, but I don't think we're gonna... Let's go over here. This is from a dead stick. I just threw this out and we just quietly drifted. Here we go, I got him, he was into something. I was just letting this sit and it was just slowly moving it as the boat drifted. Fishing, fishing it easy peasy, man. Look at that. I'm glad we came back here. Not bad, about under a pound. I pulled him out from some twigs or something, some kind of snag. Fun. Nice. Good one. A little dank. Got the skunk off you back there now. There you go. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Nice fight on that one. Woo! That is definitely a pounder, man. Oh, well, yes it is. Well, guys, this was kind of a rough session. We're not done with it yet. We're showing you the beautiful sunset behind the clouds look at look at it right there isn't that amazing so this was a really tough session but not bad so far i mean two for two two for two we might break that here in a second this area that we're coming through we're real close to the uh launch site if you're wondering but this area is just really packed with uh, whatever hydrilla or coon coontail i don't know which one it is it's one of those two it's that submerged weed it's just thick Thick as peanut butter in here. So we're gonna try and find another place to fish, but we're running out of time. You can only rent these canoes from like four to sunset or something. So, but they're, because it's me, they're letting me push it a couple minutes over eight if I have to. But. Wow, this was super cool. I would love to do this again. It was really fun, a lot of fun. We're gonna call it at two for two. Alex got the bigger bass which is a really nice catch, really nice. Hopefully the next time we come out here, we won't be under so many bad conditions. Man, awesome. So if you wanna check this out and come out and do what we did, just check out the link down in the description, you know, go through the process. As we go through time and COVID restrictions ease up, maybe it'll be a, a, you know, more days will be available to rent these canoes. So like share comment and subscribe blah, blah, blah. i can't talk man i'm tired been at this a long time <laughs> long day yesterday work until three in the morning editing video for y'all like subscribe comment what share, <laughs> share. <laughs> oh man see you next time guys